Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some potato chips from Bucky's. Six of them. Yeah, six different flavors. We have the classic sour cream and onion, barbecue. Salt and vinegar, jalapeno, and hot. These were cheap. Cheap, a dollar twenty-nine mm -hmm. a piece. A dollar twenty-nine for a two-ounce bag of chips. Yep. That's cheap. That's um, pretty cheap. So we're of course gonna start with the regular. The so one of them says it's hot flavored. I don't know what a hot flavored is. How do you taste hot? I know. <laughs> Downright delicious. Bucky's chips are flavorful without being fussy. They're light and crisp and oh so satisfying. Perfect to pair with your favorite meal or enjoy on their own. A classic, the Bucky's way. Uh, proudly distributed by Bucky's in Lake Jackson, Texas, Bucky's.com. Uh, Gluten-free, no artificial preservatives. One package, 57 grams, is 320 calories. So this okay. is a bigger bag. Like two a small bag. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. It's bigger than like a individual bag of Lay's. I like how they're, they're <coughs> keeping the same uh, color scheme as Lay's. Yellow bag. I do too because because sour cream is green, barbecue is that reddish. You color. get used to seeing things like that in your mind, and that's just it's easier to go to the shelf and just grab it, and you don't have to think about it. Um, I don't even know that they sold Lay's potato chips in there. No, no, they had an aisle or two of just mixed stuff, mm -hmm. and they did have some other. They things. might have. They may have chips. You know, know, I honed in on all the yeah. Bucky stuff. So. Those are good basic chips. They're they're not quite as greasy and salty as a Lay's, but they're good. They're good, but they need more salt. They do need a lot they're more They're not salt. salty enough yeah. for me. I agree. Um, when compared to a Lay's. I wish I knew how much salt a Lay's had because this has 280 milligrams. I could get it, but it would be, you have to double it. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, we do have Lay's in the cabinet. Um, it's just not as salty as it's, like. It's good chips if you want a plain chip. If, I mean, if they don't have anything else, then it would be. It probably, you'd probably like getting it for your kids because it isn't that salty. Yeah, and it's not really greasy. Either. No, no, they're they're definitely not as greasy. Okay, so sour cream and onion, 310 calories for the bag. Yeah, Good amount of seasoning. You can look at them and see that they're not near as greasy. Because mm -hmm. Lay's are almost like, some of them are like... like mm -hmm. um, I like the sour cream and onion flavor on them. It's not as strong. And they're not, again, as salty. Mm -hmm. But I really do like that flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Do you get a little bitterness aftertaste? A little bit. But I think that's the potato. I know. I, I was going to say, that I think that potato... I'm not used to tasting. ...is leaving me a little bitterness in the back of my throat. And that's a difference, too. So, in most potato chips, like Lay's, you compare. You have to compare everything to Lay's. I mean, that's what we're used to. A standard potato chip. You're getting a lot of salt, but it's so greasy that you're really not tasting potato. I think that's something that we're not used to is we're actually tasting the underneath that seasoning, we're actually tasting the flavor of the potato. Now I like it. You don't. I, it, it's very bitter. Okay. Now the first one wasn't that way. No, that but one's that one super is super bitter. I mean like in the back of my throat is like it's, it's like almost like, like acid they in the back of my throat used a different breed of potato or something. They are darker. I don't know. This is the that's barbecue different. and it's three hundred ten calories. Definitely color difference. That's weird that that's leaving a bitterness. I've never had potato chip do that. See, but I, I love that, that natural flavor of that potato. No, I like that. I like that smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't taste the potato in that because no. you're only tasting seasoning. But I'm getting the bitterness still. Are you really? Mm -hmm. I see I'm not at all. And it's weird, it's like, it's not just a bitter flavor on my tongue, mm -hmm. it's almost in the back of my throat. I love the texture of those. And I like I like the barbecue probably the best I've oh, had so far. Yeah, these are very well coated, and you just taste a barbecue. It, um, there is just a hint of heat. Um, yeah, yeah, just, just, like just a hint. Barely. So like, I don't think it would bother you. I, I do, now that it's settling in, I do taste the potato. 
Mm -hmm. I really do. Are you I getting did, a little bitter kind of flavor too? Just or? a hint. Yeah, it's but, weird. Um, it's that, I'm telling you, it's a potato. But I, I like those even more than the sour cream and onion. Now I'm excited about these. Salt and vinegar. 300 calories. I like a lot vinegar. of vinegar. I like it to be, I like it to burn. That's, oh, it smells like it would burn. Yep, that burns your tongue. I'll tell you Very something acidic. else that I've noticed with these. There's not any foldovers. No. Maybe it's the oil they used to cook these. Is is that flavor? I don't think so because the sour cream and onion, it really it tastes like potato. It doesn't taste like oil. I just know I'm getting the same flavor from those two. I don't get it from this, but I do love the amount of uh, there's lots of powder. These are very, very well coated. They yep. did not skimp. The vinegar just, is sharp. I mean, just like uh, the barbecue, they did not skimp mm -hmm. on the powder. I don't think they did on the sour cream and onion either. When they added it, they put a lot. That's what I want when I buy a bag of chips. I want that flavor. They have that flavor. And that vinegar is so strong, it almost makes your tongue numb. This is jalapeno, which I'm also looking forward to. 300 calories. These are gonna look very similar on the plate. You probably won't be able to tell which is which. You know what? A flavor I'm surprised they didn't have is salt and pepper. I love a good cracked black pepper. Jalapeno doesn't have that. I was hoping it would have that really green pepper kind of flavor. No. It has a touch of it, but not much. It's Most mainly spice. just heat. Yes. There is a, um, there's a, a heat there that um, it's all on the back of my tongue, mm -hmm. but it's not, it, it doesn't taste like a flaming hot or anything like no, that. It's it, not just, that bad. it just tastes like a hot pepper. It tastes like you've eaten a hot pepper. Um, but it's a pleasant, for me, it's a pleasant taste. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, they're not bad. I don't, I don't think, the barbecue were almost as hot as those. So now I'm wondering about this one, because this one is just called hot. Hot 310 flavor. calories, yeah, hot flavored. This has um, spices, spi uh, garlic powder, natural smoke flavor, paprika extract. The paprika, you'd be amazed how hot that can get. Oh yeah. Are these going to be it red? There's a picture on the front of red pepper. Well, you'll know these when you see them. And there is a fold over. That's the first fold over I've seen. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Okay. They are red, okay. red. I'm going to eat the fold over. And there's another one. Isn't it weird that none of those other bags had that within the hot ones do? Look. I wouldn't need a second one until you just judge how hot that is. That's the way I eat. Before I can process, I'm going in for, yeah, you're right. Can't eat another one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I want to let that one settle for a second. Ooh. That is hot to be hot. That one will bite you back. <laughs> the, the, the problem with those is it's literally, when they say hot flavor, there's no flavor beyond the potato chip. Did it's you get a little hot. bit of vinegar? No. Or, no, I, no, no. It's paprika. It could be the paprika, it's just a pepper flavor. It's the paprika flavor, But yes. boy, does it burn your tongue. It's hard to believe that I used to put paprika on top of my deviled eggs. Yeah, but you're putting just such a little oil. Yeah, but I don't even do that anymore. I don't even do that because you can taste the paprika and it's like, I like the deviled egg without the yeah. paprika at all. It makes them pretty is what it is. I think that's why my mom did it. It's, it's she wanted to make them pretty. You don't need that though. Mm -hmm. uh, that is what I'm tasting. I'm tasting that paprika. But it is hotter than Hades. It's I'm, very hot. The good thing is it's kind of going away now, so. Yeah, but I'm glad I'm, you were right to say, don't put another one in your mouth. Yeah. Don't eat the second ghost pepper. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, okay, so we had six. My, my only problem is, and it's, it's probably just a, maybe it's just a day thing. You know, tomorrow might be completely different. Um, 
at least three of those, if not four, had a very bitter aftertaste to me. Um, so I personally probably wouldn't get any of any them because of, them. of okay. that. However, if I were to pick one as far as flavor goes, it would mm -hmm. probably be the barbecue or the sour cream and onion. Um, I, uh, la, 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 la. I would not pick the hot. I would not pick the classic because no, honestly, between Lay's and, and these, I would rather have Lay's. Yeah. Even if I have to pay more because I know I like that salt and I, and I do like it that they're crazy. I just, that's what I like in a potato chip. So, but if, if I was going and I wanted one of these to go with one of their brisket sandwiches or their fried chicken sandwiches, I would get the salt and vinegar. Would you? I'd probably pick salt and vinegar number one. Um, yeah, I'd pick barbecue probably not as number one. Salt and vinegar one, barbecue two, and jalapeno three. Yeah. Although, I do genuinely like the sour cream and onion, uh, but just know you can taste the potato. Yeah. But, well, like I said, ignoring the, the bitter aftertaste for me, just the flavoring on the chip itself, a barbecue and sour cream and onion. If you've had these, we would love to hear your opinions because yeah. uh, a lot of you have a Bucky's in might your, your area. Favorite chip. It, yes, it might be. Or you might be like, you know, I taste that potato and I don't ever buy those. That's something I don't buy from Bucky's. Uh, we would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.